Hey. Hey. It's episode 64. <laughs> 64. And we haven't been here for a while. It's true. We had a hiatus. We had a hiatus. And I made an effort this week. I listened to the songs I was supposed to listen to. That's pretty great. I also did. Or, it was just one song, right? Yes, but I also listened to a song you recommended last week. Ah, yes. And uh, it's Alex and Jim Analyze Billy Joel Lyrics. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. My gracious. Uh, Alex had professional stuff to do. I believe we missed one week because, yes, you got married. But I yeah. also believe we missed a week because of award show season. Yep. Went to the Emmys. Lost an Emmy. Yeah. Blew back from the Emmys. Yeah. But you know what? You should be glad that you lost, honestly, because if they're not going to give an Emmy to Rhea Seahorn, who gives a fuck? That, yeah, that was bizarre. Then why does anybody get anything? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think our show is as good as Rhea Seahorn is. No, it isn't. Uh, <laughs> Nothing, nothing is. is as good as Rhea Seahorn. No, nothing except the news that she is now going to have another show. Yes, which is very, yeah, Vince Gill Gillian, or is it uh, the other guy? Gilligan. Vince Gilligan, right? Vince Gilligan, yeah. And here's what I've been told is she's going to be a good person because he said he was, he felt like he finally needed to make a show about someone who's good. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I find kind of funny as far as just the, like he's got to cleanse his palate because he's like, okay, this person's not going to cause anybody's death. <laughs> it has been, what, 10 seasons of horrible people? Oh, yeah. More, right? Because, oh my God. Yeah. Breaking Bad was how many seasons? Five. And okay. Six or seven. Yeah. And that's yeah. just a long time to be going, hey, let's celebrate this monster. <laughs> All right, let me guess. go into the writer's room and think of crimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me show everybody that if they are suspicious of a particular kind of crime, Vince Gilligan should be a suspect because he knows how to do this stuff. Really does. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was very disappointed in that. But I, Vic, congrats on your wedding, by the way. That is fantastic. Thank you very much. City Hall, baby. Yeah, I will say that me and my lovely wife are in this, we're in a good period of time where we're super appreciating each other. So, you know. Oh, we are on the rocks. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> it's <a> rough week. <laughs> we're not speaking. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Putting quotes around I do was probably a mistake on your part. Oh, I do. <laughs> I think I, sorry if it's, an, I get I get really sarcastic when I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love and cherish, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Speaking of marriages on the rocks, we uh, the song that we picked, or you picked, I should say, was A Matter of Trust. And... Yep. Uh, it's a great song, but I want to talk about the video a little bit. Oh, man. Didn't watch the video, but I seem to remember a lot of beach. So the video, um, then you don't remember it well. There's almost no beach in it. <laughs> oh, it's the basement, right? I'm thinking of uh, This Is The Time. Yeah. So this particular video is takes place on a street in New York. And by a yeah. street in New York, I mean a back lot in L.A. For sure, it's a back lot in L.A. It's not a street in New York. It's got to be a back lot. And um, are you, can you still hear me, by the way? Are we doing that cool thing again? Okay. All right, I'm going to wait. I don't know if you guys know this, but Alex is frozen. Oh, no. All right, there, I hear you now. Okay, cool. having... Oh, this is going to be one of those episodes. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. All right. I think we can just keep going. I think we're fine. I'm debating, yeah. should we restart a, and have you restart your computer or would that make any difference at all? I don't I know. I think it's would. part of the charm. There you go. It's part of the charm. Hey, enjoy the charm, Bruno Mars. <laughs> he was punching the side of his computer. <laughs> trying so, to get it to work. So this particular video takes place in New York, but of course it's a soundstage somewhere, probably in Los Angeles is what All it right. looks like. And it starts out, uh, he's getting ready to record the song, A Matter of Trust, right. or just perform it, practice it, because it doesn't look like a recording studio. It looks more like, like a jam session studio. Right. And uh, there's a saxophone lying on the piano that nobody plays. So, you know, there's a saxophone for somebody later, I guess. <laughs> right. Uh, and I found it interesting. Christy Brinkley appears in this video briefly. Oh, does she walk by with a little dog or something? She walks by with her child, their daughter. <laughs> I believe this is a great memory test for me. That I yeah, you're, miserably. you're not doing well. Not doing um, well. But it, it's pretty funny because, well, first of all, I want to just take a side street and just say, in looking up, I was like, were they still married at this point? I ran across an article from like 2018 with an interview with Christy Brinkley. And good credit to both of them. They apparently have a very positive post-divorce relationship lovely i don't know that we've given him credit for that ever so <laughs> no i don't think so nicely done that's really cool apparently they make a point of being good co-parents to their child fantastic i i was just very happy to read that that was very nice and she was in an interview just saying nice things about him being a good ex not allowing there to be any like accidentally saying something toxic. She was like, nope. Nope. That's pretty great considering how what grumpy we know he is. Yep. She's been famous long enough that she's probably smart enough not to get tricked into accidentally saying something. She's like, I know these idiots will take stuff out of context. So I'm just going to say how nice it was to grow up for my daughter to grow up with music in the house. Ah, very nice. Very smart. Now, we have talked about how much Billy Joel loves the Beatles ad nauseum. Yes. This video is that. Yes, it's the Upside Down Roof concert because he's it, in a basement um, playing for the, whoever's walking by. Yep, and they open the window and a disparate amount of people walk by. There's black guy in rap clothes. <laughs> There's, oh, I believe that's a rabbi. I think that's a rabbi. Oh, that guy's got a skateboard. It is like uh, those Richard's Carey books. Yep. It's like, oh, all the jobs in your town. Yep. Oh, I think that guy's eating a hot dog. That guy's eating a hot dog. That's New York, baby. He's got yeah. a hot dog. This dude's walking around with hot dogs. And uh, it's so funny, all the traffic is cars parked by the side of the street. None of them driving on the street. No, no, no. So the other thing that I find jarring, and I understand it's a video, is he opens the windows to let the air in and you you hear the sounds of the street as he's playing clearly the studio version of the song right and he's got a fan in the room to let you know it's a hot new york day but you can't hear the fan so it's bad sound design in my opinion because <laughs> you let me hear the car you let me hear the people all i should hear is that's all I should be able to hear. <laughs> and his voice should be all weird from uh, singing into a fan. Yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> yes. And there's all this stuff. I wrote down some of the stuff. Uh, so many diverse people. Oh, hey, there's a cop. But he's yeah. enjoying the music too. 
<laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, he's like a ray. Hey, this ain't one of them bad cops. He's there. And then there's 17 or 18 year old hip young kids. They like Billy Joel too. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. Um, there's a, for some reason, there's a Spider Man poster on the wall behind Billy Joel. Spider Man meets the fly. Oh. So they must have had to pay for that. Right? Was it in the, was this in the soundtrack for that movie or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah my God. I don't know because it's not a movie. It's just a comic. It's a right. poster from, he must like Spider Man. I mean, he's a cool dude. Why wouldn't he like Spider-Man? Yeah, exactly. I was just looking at, oh, uh, interesting thing that you would have probably mentioned if I forgot to, but not Joel on piano, Joel on guitar. Joel on guitar. Incredible. Always a, always a roll of the dice. Yeah. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. Um, he has said that he was inspired for this song by Robert Palmer. Okay, I can hear that. That makes sense. Yeah. This is from The Bridge, and it's the last Phil Ramone album. Uh, Look at all that research I did. Really did. All right, out of all those characters who were in the video enjoying the song, who would actually like Billy Joel in real life? The cop? The cop. The yeah. rabbi would be at least think, oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah. One of <laughs> one of our own. One of our own. It couldn't uh, hike. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of the kids would if they're absolute hipsters and contrarians who don't want to go along with, but I don't know if they really like it. I think they're just trying to be different than theirs. I will say, having gone to several concerts at Madison Square Garden now. Billy Joel concerts. There are a surprising number of young people there who know all the words. That's dope. Do you think that's because he's the perfect kind of artist for, hey, I like this music and I can bond with my father? Yes. That's good. I be think it. they grew up being driven around in cars out in Queens where nothing but Billy Joel was playing. Yeah, it, and certainly you and I like artists from before our time because of the same things. Yeah, I know I like Tom Jones and Engelbert Humperdinck and people like that because yeah. uh, the car was always playing them. I don't know if I'd go to the concert. Yeah, but yeah. a lot of them are dead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> won't, won't be an issue. A little harder to go to their concerts now. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's making an Engelbert Humperdinck hologram. <laughs> oh, they should. They should. God. And There's play it. Coachella, man. Just surprise people. Fuck. <laughs> so great. <laughs> so I will say of the characters that are in the video who would enjoy, I think there's more that there's more that it doesn't make sense. Right. That they would. There's Although I guess if it was real, there'd be a lot of people who thought it was neat that something live was occurring. For sure. It's not inaccurate that a bunch of people would gather around and rock out. To anyone at all. And I th is there some lady in the video yelling at him to shut up? Yeah, at the very end, there's a lady. Dread oh my God, it's so funny too. I'm glad you mentioned that. I would have mentioned it anyway, but I'm glad you brought her up because... <laughs> it ends with her going, shut up. And she leans out the window and she's dressed as the most stereotypical Italian lady yelling out a window. <laughs> Curlers? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's so great. And 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 Billy goes, that's <laughs> great. And that's so funny too, because and it's funny because he's it's the bridge and Billy Joel is at a particular age in that yeah. that we are that you and I are past, but not as past as he is, where you <laughs> start to notice your face is getting fat and you're like, uh oh, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. It's, I it's, grow a beard. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, do I do I try? I don't want to do that. Um, I don't <laughs> try. But the video is just very funny, and it's very. I think I noticed this at the time. I don't think this is just a product of this show. It's just weird how not live it is for all the effort you're making yeah. to make me think. Doesn't he also false start the song? Yes. They play a little bit and he's like, well, hold on, I'm going to open the window. Yeah. And then, and then it the, becomes the track. Yeah. And then he tried and he, he said, calls the musicians around and he goes, all right, ladies. And he's clearly being fun and joking around with his band. Oh, and that part is just so, you know, uh, him going, what, what does a person say when they're casual? <laughs> right. All it's, right, ladies. It's peculiar. The, the sax really jumped out at me because it's sitting on the piano. Right. Just not to let you know that they're, they've done other songs that day. That must be what we're supposed to think. So why didn't you open the damn window before? So they've been playing with the windows closed for a while now. Yeah. Obviously the sax player passed out or something. Right. The uh, can we at least turn on the quiet fan? <laughs> no. <laughs> you play and you sweat, Rico. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so yeah, the video is just really funny. And but the song itself is pretty damn solid yeah i like it it rocks out yeah for the, it's for the era for sure it's def it definitely soft rocks out yeah it's it, vh1's out yeah yeah <laughs> hey everybody that's here at the concert are you ready to rock a little bit that's what the lead singer says hey are, i don't want to trouble you you're not going to rock out. You can rock back a little. Yeah. Would you mind rocking back just a little bit? <laughs> Still a fine little tune. It's a, a good one when it comes on. I'll listen to it if it comes on. If I've got some rando playing, I won't skip it. It's a good song. Are we back? Yes, we're back. Oh, the charm. Yeah, I talked about the charm while you were gone. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and uh and i uh and i i told people hey see if you can guess before alex does that was that was yeah fine. i already guessed once and it was wrong yeah it's a fine time killer is what i just did all right yeah. <laughs> so, so this is from the bridge do you want me to start or do you want to start let's see wow there's so much yeah this is good this is something to talk about i'll start bust one two a <laughs> uh, one two three four <laughs> some love is just a lie of the heart the cold remains of what began with a passionate start and they may not want it to end but it will it's just a question of when that's good going in hard that's so good. It's it's that's phenomenal writing. It really is because it hurts. <laughs> and I think you I think we've all been there, you know. I think man, I could think of just so many experiences, the experiences of trying to like even like making love and being done and you're like, "Oh no." And don't feel nothing. I thought we I thought we felt stuff, but you know, there's so many so much in there. And sure. yeah, and the hanging on, like, no, no, this can work. Right. Hanging on to how it started. It yeah. was passionate. So yeah. It, it, we got it must come back. I also like just singing the one, two, three, four. Yes. I feel like you don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's me, but I feel like you don't hear that much. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is bizarre. And I never thought about that, but that is very different. Yeah. And and I don't mind it. it. I think it works perfectly fine. Works beautifully. Actually, quite kind of a I. It's kind of a clever choice, actually. Yeah. yeah. Some. Hello. 
It's just a lie of the heart. Oh, that's good. Um, that's no uh, fucking around. It really yeah. got to the point right away. And they may not want it to end. I like that both people don't want it to end. Yeah. But no choice. Yeah. It will. Just a question of when. And now look at how nice the rhyme scheme is there too. It's not ham-fisted at all. No. That's good poetry. It it doesn't even, you don't, it's not obvious. It's not, you know, it's not rhyme in time. It's a little different. It's kind of <laughs> kind of groovy yeah. there. It messes with the meter enough. Yeah. It's really nicely done. Yeah. Just um, get going places. <laughs> <laughs> Do I read the next? Because the way it's broken up on the um, BillyJoel.com is weird because it's like it's like these are coupled together. But I but should I read the next part and we do it that way, or do you? Sure. Let's okay. Just ping pong it. Okay. I've lived long enough to have learned the closer you get to the fire, the more you get burned. Well, that's not as clever as the first line, but it works fine. But that won't happen to us. Ooh, I got some bad news, but anyway. Right. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for you, Billy Joel, but the next couple of years. <laughs> but although they're friends, so maybe he's right because they're still taking care of their kid. It just changed shape. Yep. Because it's always been a matter of trust. I like this, man. I like the introduction of the title in a way that's immediately to me meaningful, not just saying the title. Because why won't it happen to us? Because we're working on building something bigger than that passionate thing, right. bigger than that momentary fling. We're building this on a foundation. I like that. It's very grown up. Yeah. Um, you know, I picked this because we had been doing Cold Spring Harbor for an eternity. Yes. Um, and that is just chock full of very immature takes yeah. on love and uh, dreamy poetry and fantasy that had no attachment to any kind of reality. And this song feels very uh, grounded, even though it's a little cynical and a little hopeful, um, but it's all attached to some very like you've just been through some therapy <laughs> yeah it's not about the passionate start or the cold remains it's about trust and that's you know you can weather whatever you need to if you yeah. have a basic thing in place yeah absolutely there's he definitely learned. and he such says, a... I, he says it right there i've like i've lived long enough to have learned yeah and it's a it's believable coming from him. We know he has at this point been through a lot of nonsense. Yeah, M much of it his own. Yeah, absolutely. Some of it dishonest in laws. <laughs> sure, a shady but, manager here and there. Yeah, and you you know you're right because it's both realistic but also a little bit hopeful and romantic. That won't happen to us, and. But not just saying that randomly out of left field. He's saying, like, here's why. Yeah. Because uh, we're, we have the trust thing. It's a matter and, of trust. And whether or not that's actually true, because sometimes things don't work out, as we all know, but you have to speak optimism in that moment. Otherwise, why are you even bothering? Yeah. Why are you even bothering to be married? Why are you even bothering to pretend to try to do anything if you're not at least going to believe in the potential to get to the next part yeah man that's that's very nice i like that um as a sidebar is matter of trust a commonly used phrase i don't think it is not super common but it's definitely a phrase it's definitely but you're right it's not but i feel like i know it from the song for 20 30 years now yeah and i can't suss out if it's it was a pre-existing phrase i well now that you say it that way i don't know because is it right. the whole time i'm like of course people say that it's from that billy joel song <laughs> <laughs> right well maybe they say it now yeah 
you know how we're always saying who is and who is not a big shot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I, I don't have a good answer for that. Under the, other than to say that if it's not a common phrase, what a cool example of Billy Joel creating a perfectly valid phrase. Yeah. Like, don't go changing came from Billy Joel, period. I'm I'll sure of that. it. I will buy that. But that one just became the 70s, became shorthand for I'm an insincere jackass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is like kind any, of funny. Any don't, don't go. Yeah. Goodbye, like... Considering how he intended it, it's funny when it goes that awry, because he <laughs> certainly didn't mean it to be insincere. Like something dickheads wrote in your yearbook. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Don't ever change. All right. It's uh, it's you now. Me, man. It's oh boy. Uh, now I know. Now I know. Now I know. You're an emotional girl. It took a lot for you to not lose your faith in this world. Well, I can't offer you proof, but you're going to face a moment of truth. No, he didn't invent that. No. So keep going? Um, yeah, I think so. But I just want to say, um, I like, I, it took a lot for you not to lose your faith in this world because look at what he's doing. He's crediting her for the effort she's putting in. Yes, it took a lot of work on your part to hang on to your faith in this world. And I also like, uh, there's an internal rhyme. Yeah which he does a lot in this song and is not easy to pull off. No. As somebody who used to try to write poetry, <laughs> it's hard to do it and make it sound like a normal sentence. Absolutely. And yeah. honestly, you talk about mature writing. He's crediting her for the efforts she's made to get to this point. So he's not just yelling right. at her. <laughs> you got lucky you didn't lose your faith. Yeah. Also, it's, I can't offer you proof is a, a mature take. Indeed. I'm guessing here, but you're going to face a moment of truth. Yeah. It's a lot of... First of all, there's a lot of words in this song. Yeah. Is, I, don't, I guess that's a little unusual for him, but they're dense. Yeah, there's not a lot of repeating. The idea of uh, thought and reflection. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, uh, feel free to keep going, but I think you're right, because it completes a thought. It would feel weird to ping pong here. All right. It's hard when you're always afraid. Simple and true. Yeah. You just recover when another belief is betrayed. Yeah. Break my heart if you must. It's a matter of trust. There's, yeah, that's a quiet little bit of, um, like you said, it's cynical, but it's true, which is like, well, I'm going to trust you, and that might jack me up in the end. <laughs> right. Uh, I have just like uh, a simple sentence. It's hard when you're always afraid. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sound like much. It's just a painful truth. Yeah, there's a line in a loud. Yeah, uh, anything can happen when there's nothing we can do. That's a great line. Anything can Basically, happen. Yeah, just a simple, full truth. Yeah. What is there's? It's a hard when you're always afraid. Step in a line, the man take you away. I'm trying to remember the other song that's from. It's hard when you're always afraid. Step out of line, man come and take you away. away. What song is that? What well, sound? Is it that song? Say it again. It's that stop. Hey, what's that sound song? That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Step out of line, man come. You better stop. Hey, yep, you got it. Because I was like, what's what am I remembering? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but it's literally that exact line, which 
happens to lots and lots of lyricists. It's not just Billy Joel, there, but there will be a, li a lyric you've heard in your life that will pop into a different song. Oh, uh, now that's a pretty forgivable. Yeah. It's a simple, basic truth. Yeah. It's hard. Can't be mad. Yeah. And then a nice internal rhyme in the next line. You just recover when another belief is betrayed. Yeah. And boy, doesn't that true as hell where you think, man, I just oh. got done doing this thing. Right. There's another kick in the dick for you. <laughs> There's a good title for a Billy Joel song. Another kick in the dick. He wants to come out of retirement and write some new stuff. He said he hasn't been inspired, but that might do it. Yeah, that would be the one. God, yeah. I want to hear that song by Billy Joel. Oh, man. All right. Uh, so I want to make sure you're not frozen. Hold on. Pop over to looking at you. Okay. All right. You're frozen again. There you go. All right, that wasn't too bad that time. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so now we go into, I think this is the bridge, right? This is the bridge. You can't go the distance with too much resistance. I like that. Sure. We're not going to make it to the end if we keep second-guessing each other, if we keep going, yes, that's worth it. Yeah. Um, I know you have doubts, but for God's sake, don't shut me out. And that could be a plea to her and to himself. Considering the what we've said before, that feels like right. The only way this is going to work is if we give each other trust. And even without saying the title of the song, it's implied. Yeah, yeah. That's I like that, and it's what a tiny little bridge. <laughs> That's great. You can't go the distance with too much resistance. I know you have doubts, but for God's sake, don't shut me out. And it's, again, I'll say he doesn't invalidate the fact that doubts exist. Yeah. It's just. Great. I, and it's not your fault. Uh, stop doubting me, woman. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as he might do in other songs. Indeed. It's, I'm right, and you should listen to me. <laughs> nope, we're both. Uh, we both got her troubles in this uh, thing. Yeah. That's uh, pretty great. For God's sake is strong. strong yeah. Language. Yeah, ind indeed. It, it takes a step away from the purely poetic and is just kind of this declarative statement that... Nice expression of like the desperation you have to be heard. Exactly. Yeah, it's perfect in that sense. It drives it home and it's perfect for the bridge. And actually, even think about it as a choice for being the lyric in the bridge. That makes sense. It's nice. Yeah. That's where you're going to flip out a little. Yep. Yeah, man, this is, you can say maturity of a person as far as relationships, but also a lot of like everything good about him as a songwriter is working here. Part of me just is like, did someone help write that song, man? <laughs> well, you know what could have happened, uh, if you can hear me, what could have happened is it could have been the other part of maturity, which is listening. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe so, he was like, I, I can't write another song where I yell at somebody. What yeah. else can I do? Yeah. <laughs> It could have been taking a note too, because again, maturity, it's like, that's happened to me as a writer and it's happened to you as you grow as a writer is being willing to listen to people. It's mom. Ah, mom. Fantastic. Let's see what she's got. I heard you got married. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make it. Uh, well, congrats so on that as well. There we go. It got less charming. Yep. I might actually uh, do a little experiment in editing this time, with that, which I don't usually do, but I might do it this time because that might be fun anyway as a project. 
Who could blame you? Yeah. Um, I don't blame you. We discussed how the rain is not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> not this time. No. Um, and then I discussed that uh, Millie Vanilli would tell you to blame it on the rain. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, blaming it on Spectrum. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you are at, so for God's sakes, don't shut me out. And you're at this time, you've got nothing to lose. This time, you've got nothing to lose. You can take it, you can leave it, whatever you choose. I won't hold back anything, and I'll walk away a fool or a king. Great. So it's good. The only thing I don't know about, it's an opinion. This time you've got nothing to lose doesn't feel true to what we've been talking about before. Yeah. I, I, I have a quibble with that as far as just Unless, sorry, go ahead. Uh, we have trust. So, whatever you decide, you can't lose because the trust is in place. Oh, okay. All right. I think that's a good read. You can take it or you can leave it, whatever you choose. I just don't know <laughs> because I, I can see that as a read. But if I were in the relationship, I, I would think or even say, well, no, we got a lot to lose if we get it wrong because right. there's this valuable relationship built on trust. And that's a lot to that's a lot to lose. And yes, we've she, I like that he's accepted that she can leave. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it does run against what he's been talking about. Yeah. And I, I like that. Yeah, because he wouldn't typically do that. And it's it's a healthy relationship in that sense, in that, look, if you decide to... Look, Mary Jo and I have been together a long time, and there are multiple times when we have talked about re-choosing to be together. Right. Yeah. And you have to do that because... Um, life is complicated your feelings get muddled and then you you have to have these kind of like deck clearing conversations where you re-choose each other right you but then flow. yeah but that necessarily means that you accept that you could choose not yeah yeah i mean yeah there's a difference between staying out of inertia and choosing staying yeah and yeah, and every every everything is a choice, and that's a thing to, that we you get mature enough, and you realize the stuff that's happened to you. A lot of the stuff that happened to you, no, you you are driving. You just don't like that you're driving. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the older you get, the more you notice it. And yeah. Like, oh, I did a lot of those things to myself. Indeed. I'm I'm not fat randomly. <laughs> Ate all those things. Yeah. Um, and he says, I won't hold back anything and I'll walk away a fool or a king. All right. I like and that. I'm going to put it all out there and uh, yeah. get the results I get instead of uh, keeping quiet. I mean, I feel like they're doing a great job in this song. They've talked about this relationship more than most people. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> in one song. Yeah. And uh, so let me, I'll grab the next one because it's a short one. And then you got the one after that. That'll get us pretty, almost home. All right. Um, some love is just a lie of the mind. Okay. We're repeating this a little bit. A little bit. It's make believe until it's only a matter of time. Some might have learned to adjust, but then it never was a matter of trust. Oh, I love, oh, nice turn. Nice turn. That's uh great. I also love going to mind instead of heart. Yep. Yeah, you're right. That's and, a. Uh, and now it's a matter of time. Yeah. I like, I feel like, uh, yeah, there was matter of trust, moment of truth, then matter yeah. of time. You know, what a great. Yeah, it's interesting because acknowledging that love occurs in the mind is a is a stone cold observation about the actual truth of love because of course the seed of love is not the heart although you do feel things in there because but it's just a muscle 
that's just a real realistic down to earth like well look it's all happening here in the gray so wow you're right that's a good that's a good turn it's a nice turn yeah damn uh, and some might have learned to adjust settle compromise i guess i think so yeah and then it never was a matter of trust great yeah um yeah i you know i agree uh, and uh, it all happens here i think you know when he's saying it's a matter of the heart obviously it's a metaphor the heart and the mind <laughs> both. yeah so you're just talking about different parts of your brain yeah um but i like but you're right it was a metaphor before and now we're stripping that away a little bit and just going look this is this is what it is yeah that's pretty awesome actually yeah it damn fun and interesting to watch him like in a song really struggle to understand what it is to love somebody yeah instead of just pushing them around or giving them instructions yeah. talking to some dude about what he should be doing it's like no the, here's what i think it is yeah after my 50 years yeah yeah I'm supposed to this would be right around his 50s. Yeah, maybe late 40s. But yeah, he's he's yeah. getting up there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He's still got two wives to go. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and I think that's it, but we'll see. We'll see. Wow. Okay, so you've got the next one. And uh, make the way. Oh, we had another bridge. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're aware, love. We've both had our share of believing too long when the whole situation was wrong. Great. Great. A little janky forced rhyming at the yeah, top. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Crazy. I, I don't just don't believe him referring to someone as love. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello, love. Yeah. It's Hello, love. Me, I'm Bing from Long Joe. Island. It's me from Long Island. Yeah. You know me, I'm the piano man. <laughs> Put a kettle on, love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's what people have always said they, about Billy Joel is his fondness for tea. <laughs> Long Island iced tea. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty darn good, though. Pretty darn good. Also, we've both had our share of believing too long yeah which is great i yeah. fucked up fucked up we both fucked up a bunch let's how are we going to make this thing work let's <laughs> enough ruminating yeah very present the song yeah not a lot about like this happened before here's what i hope happens next this is about like we're right here right now how do we make this go and no blame. This is like you've you got you've had a life. I've had a life. We're adults now. I'm not. You 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 have a past and you've struggled with yours. I've had mine, actually. And it's even acknowledging that as a positive. We both bring a previous yeah. life to the table that informs our efforts today. <laughs> yeah. So with all our combined knowledge. How do we get this thing off the ground? Yeah. That seems to be the, the thought. Yep. yep. Oh, my God. So here we go. We're, we're, we're almost to the end. So good music, by the way. And you're, and the Robert Palmer thing, I can absolutely hear now that you've told me yeah. about it. Some love is just a lie of the soul, a constant battle for the ultimate state of control. Nice. Ah, uh, good, good damn line. And what a truism about a lot of relationships where it's just a struggle oh, yeah. for supremacy. <laughs> yeah. And really, which is, of course, why do you want that supremacy and control is because you're afraid of getting hurt. And so we become this person who thinks, well, if I could just control every aspect of it, I'll be okay. Right. And then you can't enjoy somebody that can be controlled by you. No. Nope. So it doesn't work anyway. Yeah. After you've heard lie upon lie, there can hardly be a question of why. Great. Right. And what do you mean, why? This. Yeah. 
Are the lies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. It's, there's not a lot of missteps in this at all. If there's maybe one or two places where you're like, it ain't a perfect rhyme, but it's a song and Lord knows it, it doesn't, there's not a lot of fat here. This is great. And then he ends with some, with the lyric that we already read, which is, some love is just alive the heart, the cold remains of what began with a passionate start, but that can't happen to us because it's always been a matter of trust. And even this, repeating the lyric before is perfect because it's just yeah. once and it's a bookend. And it really is the thesis statement, like, look, here's all the various versions of how to do it wrong lie of the mind, lie of the heart. Um, let's drive home the point. It's a matter of trust. He also says that can't happen to us. And the first time it was that won't happen to us. Yeah, you're right. So it's like initially like that won't happen to us. Run through all the arguments. Now that we've established that, that can't happen to us. Oh yeah, you're right. A little mm -hmm. confidence that we're capable of doing this. Nice ribbon on it. If yeah. You're all over. Okay, I can see you. I currently can't hear you. Okay. Is this good podcasting? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'll be needing to edit some. Oh no! Oh no! I'm unmuted. Wait, what happened? Okay, there. For a second, I couldn't see you. Okay. Oh, yeah. I had to go see if the microphone was muted. We are having fun. Yes. But you are back. You, you, I actually can see hear you pretty well now. Can you hear me all right? Oh, great. I'm, you're very faint, but I don't I think that's just because my phone speaker is tiny. Yeah, that's fine. That won't actually impact the recording itself. So that's actually not a problem. So just to recap, we just finished the lyrics. Which we loved. Which we did. We did love them. So hold on. Let's do this. Hold on. Welcome back, everybody. All right. So you'll notice we did a little editing this week, which was good for me to practice anyway. See? Positive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is now on an iPhone instead of his computer. Yep. And I will say, not even just trying to make lemons into lemonade, I am going to say you look very handsome on the iPhone. Oh, thank you very much. It's yeah. a little slightly different angle for me, and I don't hate it. Yeah. And can I say, by the way, that if I didn't know they were your real eyebrows, I would think you were dressing up as Groucho Marx. <laughs> there you go. They're nice and dark. Yeah. Now, do they, they not gray? Is that what happens? They uh have not thus far. That's fantastic. So that's that's funny be, just because so you, you know you're a dark-haired fella, but you got you know you're got some salt and pepper going on. Oh, for sure, but not for, in the brows, yeah. For some reason, which makes them look fake <laughs> because <laughs> I think it's gonna make me look crazier as I get older, but they will gray eventually, I think. Yeah. Or Here's what they do, they absolutely grow wildly out of control. Yeah. Yeah, mine do too, but mine are all wispy and it looks, you know, like I, <laughs> you know, again, I look like a very vain Latina woman who plucks constantly. <laughs> You've been overplucked. That's right. Uh, so yeah, what a damn good song. And uh, I am going to move a little over. Look at this pretty lady. Oh, yeah. Julia Roberts. It is not Julia Roberts. but I, So I will tell you a couple things about her. This woman has, in fact, won an Academy Award. Oh, that's pretty good. And pretty what, what, did, what just happened, Robot? You got all robot I, I says, good for you, lady, I says. That's right. Oh, I don't know. And now I believe she was the first of her group of people as far as a subgroup of Americans that she belongs to to ever win an Academy Award. I think so. 
Huh. And well, God uh, bless. Yeah, she is a member of a marginalized community. Oh, I see. Um, so if you can guess who that is now. Uh, Rita Moreno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's well, very I'll tell hard you. because we uh, we've marginalized a lot of people. Well, I will tell you what: if you guess her name and you say it real loud, she still won't know you guessed her name. <laughs> Got it, Marley Matlin. That's right. That is right. So now, Marley Matlin, I'm using as a clue for a Billy Joel song. Um. And I will say, um, how do you feel other members felt when they saw of her community, of her marginalized community, which would be the deaf community? Um, right, how, right, right. How do you think they probably felt when they saw her win an Academy Award? I'd say that they were proud. Absolutely. And, and maybe they also felt like they might be able to do neat things. <laughs> yeah. They could uh, put themselves in uh, her shoes. Right, exactly. And felt a scent like they were, you know. Represented. Sure, which gives you a sense of like, not perspiration, but. <laughs> uh, inspiration. Yeah, like. so I bet she inspired them, right? Yeah. And And how did she do that? Uh, by winning. That's true, but she didn't do it by talking. She did it the absolute opposite. <laughs> she, by saying nothing at all. Very close, yeah. She inspired them. Uh, <laughs> without a sound. That's right. Without a sound. She's got a way. That's right. And she definitely has a way. My goodness, what a pretty lady. What a Lovely. Pretty, pretty lady. Inspired, she's got a way. And I thought... Here's, here's a funny thing, by the way. If you go on to BillyJoelLyrics.com and you look up the lyrics to She's Got Away, it says that it's from the album The Stranger. <laughs> that is how wow. much, that's how much he hates Cold Spring Harbor. <laughs> he gave a personal order. You will lie for me. Yeah. Uh, it'll, it's on now. The song was re-recorded, or I don't see if now maybe not re-recorded is not the right word, but one of the people's favorite versions is a live version that's not off Cold Spring Harbor. So I guess it's on songs in the attic, right? Yeah, and it's still not on, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's still not on the other album. Still not so, on the stranger. No. <laughs> so I think that's kind of funny <laughs> that you just dislike that so much <laughs> that just amuses me to no end and i thought i'd use it as the clue because it's off cold spring harbor and i still don't feel like picking it yet so i would at least reference cold spring harbor for a moment oh my god are you frozen are you kidding me are you kidding me Oh, there you are. Oh, my God. You froze for a second. I was going to I'm here. Okay, great. You are here. But I did not pick this song for next week. So we're not clearing the books on Cold Spring Harbor yet. Here's what I picked. Can you hear me? This is amazing. I know I have data. Yeah. You didn't. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Tell me the song you picked. So I picked, because I don't think I've ever heard it, Traveling Prayer from Piano Man. Oh, buddy. You're gonna love it. Oh, excellent. It's, uh, yeah, it's fucking fantastic. Dolly Parton recorded a version of it. Oh, my that God. astounding. Enjoy That's... both of those. That's really cool. The reason I picked it, so I was, you know, I was doing my thing where I'm looking for a clue and I clicked on it and I was like, oh, there's a lot of lyrics here. And I'm like, I don't know if I, I don't think I've heard this. How have I not heard this? I'm like, well, I must have heard it sometime, somewhere. It feels weird that I wouldn't have. 
but I thought, well, what a good little reason to hear it. We'll just talk about it next week. So that's yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're going to be so happy. So and I think, you will have heard it. You will say, oh, I've heard this. Yeah, uh, yeah probably. I think. But if not, what a very lovely good chance. Yeah, there's a very good chance. Yeah. You're right. I'm going to use what little communication we have left uh, to ask you a trivia question that's not terribly hard, but I was wrong when I was asked. How tall is Billy Joel? Oh. Five foot five. You nailed it. What? You nailed it. Wow. I gave him way too much credit at five eight. I knew he wasn't tall, but I also I knew, knew he wasn't tall. I feel like Billy Joel's physical appearance is similar to mine in that he there's very little exceptional going on. <laughs> yeah. There, there's cuz he's not he's not grotesque looking. No. Not at all. Perfectly nice face, but it ain't a great face. It's just a face. He's got one. He's inside all the margins of error. Yeah, he's like me. He got a lot of the factory basics. Yeah, yeah. but he, when he yeah, when he makes his uh, Wii avatar, he doesn't have to change much. Yeah, he's like slightly darker here, slightly fatter here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's let's bowl. By the way, you are absolutely right. Anytime I needed a video game avatar for me, it's easy to make. Yeah. Dumb haircut, check. Um, I had to go to the third page to find eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just put none because it's close enough. <laughs> Great. Oh, my goodness. Well, listen, um, uh, oh, you got to, I picked a song. I was going to say you got to pick a song, but we'll wait till next week. Okay, good, good. I'll try to fix the internet before then. Yeah, I've been that's funny because I've just started to rush because I'm like, let's get this done before it all breaks again. <laughs> well, listen in the comments, and this is a for real in the comments, let me know what you think of the editing job I did. Oh yeah. I might have to watch this one. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of just Jarring cuts is what I think the editing is going to be. <laughs> Again, great. Or at least one crossfade. So, ooh, can I get a star wipe? Right here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to practice some editing. <laughs>